Fabio Vieira could be Arsenal's very own Bernardo Silva. I know it sounds mad, people, but allow me to explain throughout this video my thoughts and reasoning behind it. Again, I am not comparing Fabio Vieira to Bernardo Silva as such. He's got a long way to go before he could ever be mentioned in the conversation with his fellow countrymen. But when you consider Bernardo Silva, his intelligence, his technical ability, and crucially, his versatility, I think there's a lot of transferables that could be applied to Fabio Vieira if I'm completely honest with you lot. And on top of Bernardo Silva being mentioned, really, I was sitting there and don't ask me why I was watching videos of Phil Foden and Cole Palmer and like these kind of new age wingers. As we know, the role of being a winger has changed um, in the Premier League. Kind of long gone are the days where players are hugging the touchline and getting chalks on their boots. You've got the Sackers, the Son Heung Mins, the Salas who are more inside forwards. And then you've got the kind of cute and cleverer players, you know, Phil Foden, Cole Palmer, Bernardo Silva, where I'm sure if you ask them where they would like to play, it'd probably be in the number eight or a 10, but they're kind of like wide playmakers. And we all know Fabio Vieira has once said, you know, he will play anywhere the manager asks is, but his bread and butter is the eight and the 10. As you know, the positions he fills, he's previously had to compete with Granite Xhaka and Martin Odegaard, two very key players. The dynamics at Arsenal currently could shift with Thomas Partey's fitness, Jorginho getting some regular first team football and things of that. It'll even Kai Havertz playing in the in the in the eight row in the tennis martin odegaard so yeah i do believe there's a lot of transferables with fabio vieira i think you know he's technically intelligent got a wonderful final ball you know um you know technically intelligent wonderful final ball great in tight spaces and as we get better as a team and we're more on the front foot and teams are trying to be rigid and have lower mid blocks against us he could be a perfect option to unpick potential locks I do believe in Fabio Vieira I think he's a good player I do think he needs to assert himself more consistently in games I do think you know I would describe him as a bit of a cycle at Arsenal in that he gets a bit of cameos does quite well gets some prolonged fitness and then gets injured again and then it keeps going and it did look like like in August, he was really going to start asserting himself. And he's almost a forgotten man, a man that was signed for 30 million quid that I know he's only 23, but in comparison to some of his teammates, he's significantly more experienced. And when you go back to the game against Porto, for example, for obvious reasons, him being Portuguese, it being the Champions League and it being his former team, I'm sure he would have loved to have made a significant impression in that game. But unfortunately, he really didn't. I don't think he's got anything to be panic panicked panicky about because I think Arteta believes in him and I think he's a good player at least for the squad but for the 2025-26 campaign if we're still sitting here and saying these same things about Fabio Vieira then I think stuff might happen as I said I would describe his career to date at Arsenal as a cycle he does well off the bench makes an impact gets an occasional start and then consistently gets injured and then the cycle keeps on going and going and going and going I believe in the guy, but let me show you my reasonings throughout this video. So as I said, he's become a bit of a forgotten man. His bread and butter is probably in the number eight position in which, again, it does feel like where you look at Martin Odegaard and Declan Rice, there is one position that in midfield of the, the three that is kind of open season. Smith Rowe hasn't grabbed it, grabbed his opportunity there. Kai Havertz has looked better up front. Jorginho has come in and played and been a partner with Declan Rice and it's changed quite, um, quite slightly. Thomas Partey is another option to line up in midfield alongside Declan Rice but owing to his injuries. Obviously, within the 10 position, that's Martin Odegaard's our captain's role and he's doing quite well in line of what he's doing individually and what Arteta collectively demands of his captain. There is a reality where maybe Odegaard goes into the eight role or we sign another midfielder that can play as an eight or a six or differentiate between the two similar to Declan Rice. But this is where Fabio Vieira needs to make a marker. Now, I do think his weakest position is out wide because I don't think he's, you know, powerful like Bakayo Saka, got the legs that Martinelli has. But at the end of the day, if you can't get in the first team you need to be grateful and take your opportunities where they can so I do think it's harsh but when I look at some other players that I've said you know Cole Palmer, Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva who have all given more in the Premier League than him to a degree if they can perform out wide why can't Fabio Vieira to a degree because again he's great in, in tight spaces it would allow him to roam off that flank and ultimately just make you a more versatile player when you look throughout the whole Arsenal team there are many multi-functional players and you would imagine Mikel Arteta would seek to bring some in as well to follow in with that ilk I like Fabio Vieira at the end of the day for his 
for his cons, which I don't think he asserts himself in games. Sometimes I don't think the form is quite there from him. I do think he could be a bit more robust and physically stronger. Um, but he's got, you know, he's one of the only players at Arsenal that I think is trigger happy. He likes to shoot on a consistent basis. Got a wonderful final ball, extremely intelligent, got a lovely passing range and all the technical qualities you would attribute to becoming an Arsenal footballer. I think he's got one of the best final balls at the football club as well in the final third, if I'm completely honest with you. He's a lovely player, but it's now time to put down a marker and really assert yourself within Mikel Arteta's team and Arsenal Football Club. To be fair to Fabio Vieira, based on the injuries he's had, joining us and not having a full pre-season and a mixture of previously Granite Xhaka and Odegaard occupying the roles he typically thrives in, it's not been easy for him to assert himself at Arsenal Football Club for as much as I like his qualities and what he could potentially bring to the table, bearing in mind he's also had surgery. For what it's worth, Mikel Arteta has also alluded to injuries, you know, disrupting his momentum and his rhythm in, in his quest of seeking more regular football at the football club and it, it's clear that Mikel Arteta remains a big fan I mean for instance you know Mikel Arteta who hasn't signed too many attacking footballers for this football club did spend 30 million euros plus add-ons on the guy and just based on a quick google search you know in any post or pre-game comments that Mikel Arteta provides on Fabio Vieira he remains a big fan of his technical ability his versatility the qualities he has to the team and what he could potentially bring to the table um, and I, I, I share the same opinions. Of course, being available is the best trait you could have. But as I said, any time Mikel Arteta has the opportunity to speak, he praises his technical ability and his qualities and more or less says he's very unique and has touched on him actually improving in a defensive third as well. We do need Fabio Vieira to start asserting himself on the football pitch and showing the qualities he has at Arsenal Football Club, if I'm honest. Now, and again, we've got to remember, Mikel Arteta once said, we've got one of the finished squads in the league. And as you can see, I always say we've got 12 cup finals. We've got two games against Munich and the 10 games against um, in the Premier League. Now, Fabio Vieira is the perfect player, in my opinion, to a degree to be part of this squad. Again, the wide role isn't going to be like Bakayo Saka, like a quote-unquote inside forward or, or more of a traditional winger or slightly more. But Fabio Vieira can link up play as, as other teams try and be narrow and we have to play in pockets. Of course, Martin Odegaard could actually go into the eight role, not that I think Arteta will, and that could be something for Fabio Vieira. But again, if Fabio Vieira was to operate off the right-hand side, you could see how he can kind of thrive. Even if you assume Bakayo Saka starts and you've got Martin Odegaard, Rice, Jorginho, whoever you want, you know, could Fabio Vieira be the left-sided centre uh, midfielder that we want? Because he has a great bit of play with Martinelli, for example, and we've struggled there. So in conclusion, I think Fabio Vieira, his future lies as an 8 or a 10 at this football club. But as we see versatility and actual competence in versatility in terms of the positions you can play and thrive in is becoming a hallmark of Mikel Arteta. And we've seen that with numerous players. But where I'm at with Fabio Vieira, as much as I have admiration for him, there's no point me talking about him if we don't see it on a consistent basis on the football field. The man needs to stay fit and again, take his opportunities when chances present themselves. Hopefully with 12 games left on paper for Arsenal Football Club, the two against Bayern Munich where I hope we go beyond that and the 10 games left in the Premier League and you look at how condensed the calendar is, you know, for instance, the amount of games we play versus how much Tottenham play when we head into that North London derby. Hopefully Fabio Vieira and a number of players on the peripheral of Mikel Arteta's team at the moment can start to show their quality and also not just this season but seasons on beyond really at 23 years of age it's now time to make a marker and justify his price tag because as we get better and better and better positions or places um, where positions are concerned are going to become scarce now I can't imagine Fabio Vieira is happy continue consistently with how it's gone at Arsenal I'm sure he would like to play a lot more and show a lot more of his qualities but it's now time to stay fit and take your opportunities when they're presenting themselves because I think he's got all the tools to, to, to thrive at Arsenal. You know, as I said, I think he's an eight or a 10. And then I think he could maybe even thrive out wide. I'm not really, for what it's worth, I'm not even keen on him playing as a, as a right winger or as a wide playmaker. But I do think it is something that he could present himself as being an option under Mikel Arteta. And I would like a winger in the summer, of course, but this might be an indirect other option. So who knows? Football is subjective. Nobody's right or wrong. As I always say,
say I don't tell you what to think just think let me know your thoughts on Fabio Vieira on the information and the talking points I've presented where do you think he will play and again check out the rest of the videos people don't get away without liking commenting and subscribing stay safe stay blessed one love